as part of an initiative held by the University of Kentucky's Healing Community Study, Narcan training will be taught to willing participants in hopes of combating opiate overdoses. Wednesday, Mountaintop spoke with prevention specialist Nathan Bartram about Narcan training and its importance. Just how to effectively use Narcan and pretty much, you know, make people understand that this is this is a problem that don't just affect a certain demographic, that you know everybody knows somebody that's struggling with substance use. And we just try to get get Narcan out there in the hands of people. You know, you never know when you're going to run across an overdose. Here at Pico Medical Center's Heart and Vascular Institute, we have assembled a comprehensive team of cardiac specialists bringing expertise from all regions of the nation and the world. We have coupled that with cutting edge technology, providing them the best equipment and operating rooms available. The result is comprehensive cardiac care for the people of our region that is second to none. The Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. Bartram continues to say that Kentucky ranks in the top three for overdoses in the country and that cases have risen dramatically throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. Additionally, Bartram adds the dates of when they'll be holding their next event. On Friday, we'll be at the Bull Creek Trade Center down here in Prestonsburg. And then on Monday at the Martin Fire Department, we got an event that is open to the public. Anybody who wants to come in is interested and what we're doing, we can, you know, it's a real brief training. Trainings are around 10 to 15 minutes. And we also got information on treatment options, you know, for people that want to be able to get into substance abuse treatment. And we got some locations uh, for the, like we got seven locations around the county where you can safely dispose of unwanted prescriptions. That way they don't fall in the hands of kids. Again, Narcan training will take place at the Bull Creek Trade Center from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Friday and 10 p.m. at the Martin Fire Department Monday, November 22nd. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.